in this verse of bhagavad gita lord shri krishna is explaining what happens after the death death is a reality it is not an imagination so what happens after the death is actually a science or this is a very important knowledge so generally people they don't know what happens after death they know somebody dies after that they completely have no idea what happens to that person after the death so because they don't know what happens after the death they have made their own conclusions one of the conclusions is that after the death everything is finished everything is over that's all over so the idea is till you die whatever you do that's all after that is nothing because i cannot see it or i don't know what happens or nobody comes and tells me this is what happened to me after the death mostly so that one immature illiterate spiritually uneducated conclusion is that after death everything is over but in all vedic literature starting from bhagavad gita shrimad bhagavatam mahabharata ramayana vedas and upanishad there is elaborate information available what happens to us after the death why do they give that information to us so that we prepare for that so that we prepare for consequences so here krishna says whatever you remember whatever you think of at the time of death that state of being you are going to attain after your death now <clears throat> let us understand today what happens after the death immediately what is death first of all death is change of body lord shri krishna says in bhagavad gita second chapter देहिनो अस्मिन् यथा देहे कौमारम यवनम जरा तथा देहांतर प्राप्ति वी आर कंटीन्युअसली डाइंग डाइंग मींस चेंजिंग वन बॉडी एंड टेकिंग अनदर बॉडी दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डेथ सो व्हेन वी वर बोर्न वी वर ऑफ दिस साइज एंड टुडे आवर बॉडी इज डिफरेंट सो दैट बॉडी वाज डिफरेंट सो वी हैव चेंज द body so death means change of body because atma never dies na hanyate hanyamane nobody can kill the soul there is no birth for the soul there is no death for the soul all that is changing is only for the body the atma remains the same so the death means change of body from one body to another body the soul transmigrates or it shifts its residence from one body to another body if you don't want any body the soul itself is a spiritual body actually it doesn't require an another body you require an another body to fulfill certain desires or to take some punishment so if you don't want this material desires and material punishment the soul itself is one body it's a spiritual body so not accepting any material body and going back to the place where soul naturally belongs is called liberation or moksha or mukti but if you are not attaining that then what happens after death so one death is what we have already changed from childhood to youth that means already that body is dead now when you are young again your body will change to next body called a middle aged body and then old body will come when you have a old body it is very obvious that you don't have a child body that means a child body is dead and now the old body has come like this the old body also will die and the soul will enter into now totally fresh new body now what happens so that means if you are not eligible for liberation that means you are not eligible for going to spiritual world with your soul then you are forced to accept some body so as soon as the the person dies death happens 
immediately the soul that comes out of this body has to enter into another body there are two types of body two types of body one is called yatana sharira yatana in sanskrit means pain sharira means body the body which is suitable for experiencing pain. suffering <coughs> or pain there is another body that is called divya sharira the body which is suitable for spiritual experience or higher experience now it depends on after you die what are you qualified for if you are qualified for higher planets if you have done those kind of activities then you will get that kind of body it is like when you enter into the flight where you will sit will you sit in the business class or you sit in the economy class it depends on what you have paid what ticket you have paid how much money you have paid so you have paid sufficient money you may get the business class seat where you have more comforts more leg room more facility you don't have that much then you may be asked to sit in a very very ordinary place so it depends on what activities we have done when we are alive in this body so the soul as soon as it dies it has to enter into one of this two and then after you enter that body now how much time it will take to take birth once again after you die how much time it takes to take birth again so that depends on what you have done in this life there are four ways there are four uh, levels that time taken to take birth it takes 3 hour 15 minutes to take birth next not for everyone we'll discuss that for one kind of people for another kind of people it take 24 hours to enter into mother's womb for some other people it takes 10 days to enter into another body or a mother's womb for others it takes 1 year to take birth for others it takes more than that now we will discuss who takes Well, what time and why do they take that time so if you are greatly pious person very pious so much punya karma you have done highly pious so much of punya we are not talking about bhakti if you have done bhakti you will get divya sharira you will not get in this yatana sharira so you have done only punya karma then in 3 hour 15 minutes you will enter into mother's womb next next body you already entered 3 hour 15 minutes and if you are not so great but you are greatly pious you are punya you have done so it takes 24 hours to enter into mother's womb you are you are not greatly pious you are not pious but you are a good person so it takes 10 days for you to enter into next body or mother's womb you are a sinful man then it takes one year even to reach yamalok now 3 hour 15 minutes what will happen till 3 hour 15 minutes what happens or till 24 hours what happens till 10 days what happens till one year what happens that is the time taken for the soul to reach yamalok that is a time taken for the soul in the yatana sharira now it is the soul has entered into yatana sharira to reach yamaloka there is a journey there is a journey to yamaloka and every soul takes different amount of time to take to reach yamaloka and the journey is elaborately described in mahabharata garuda purana and what happens after you reach yamaloka is described in shrimad bhagavatam fifth canto very elaborately so now we'll understand just before you die what happens we'll we'll discuss just before you die what happens when you die what happens 
after you die what happens right so just before we die it is very nicely explained that <clears throat> what happens we, the soul start seeing the yamadutas we actually see yamadutas just before we die you will see some very uh, fierceful and very uh, ferocious ghastly forms of people waiting for you they they are just you know walking around you when you are about to give up your body so the the soul sees that so when the soul sees that what happens it is said drishtva tan yamadutam stu drishtva you will see what you will see yamadutam stu drishtva tam yamadutam stu bhito matradi kanataha and the person by seeing them gets scared just like you know people keep doing so many illegal illicit activities the moment they see the police nearby their house they get a hint because you see those um, somebody walking some police some police van is going everyone is not bothered but the person who has done crime the moment he sees the police coming they are calling him he will know that i think i'm i'm okay. getting caught something is going to happen now so drishtva drishtva tan yamadutam stu bhito bhitaha in sanskrit bhitaha means fearful you get scared ahvayan baho shodhira shakro mutram cha munchati the person starts screaming out of fear he starts screaming sometimes the soul has become so old or it is in such a situation it is in such a condition he can't scream he can't make sound but at that time but fear is there so much fear is there because you are seeing the yamadutas at that time what happens you are not able to scream you are sweating profusely you see people who die they sweat profusely there will be so much sweating and that sweating is out of fear they are not able to scream they are not able to cry but they are sweating out of the fear and they pass urine and stool those of you who have seen people who die those of you who have seen the dead bodies you will know the person who dies passes the urine and stool that is because the soul out of the fear passes the stool and urine even an animal you when you, before you kill it passes the stool and urine that's the symptom of fear like sometimes when the child in the school when the teacher beats the child the small child will passes the urine so this is a, this is how the body responds to the fear mutra here it is said that mutra nu shakron mutram cha munchati mutram you pass the stool and urine and the same thing now what happens to devotees this is for common people what happens to devotees so for devotees kashchit tatra vashi dhiro bhagavantam smare dridam tasya tebhyo bhayam nasti bhaktatvad achyutasya vai the devotees also see yamadutas the moment they see yamadutas that increases their vishnu smaranam the moment they see yamadutas oh now now my time has come i have to leave this place i have to leave this body and the yamaduta same yamadutas remind the soul of vishnu smaranam yamadutas are not going to touch them they are not going to take them vishnu dutas will come for the devotees but yamadutas remind the soul of the smaranam the lord's remembrance and they are not scared they are not afraid it is it is said mahabharata says वासुदेव भक्ता अशुभम विद्यते क्वचि वासुदेव भक्ता न अशुभम इफ यू आर ए डिवोटी ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण 
devotee of Lord Narayana, na ashubham, you will not pass urine stool and get scared. There is no bhitam. No. What happens? It increases your Vishnu Smaranam. So then, when the death comes, the Yamadutas will drag the soul out of the body. And the moment it, that soul comes out, it enters into another body. Which body? It depends on who you are. If you are a sinful man, you have to enter into Yatana Sharira. If you are a good man, you will enter into Divya Sharira. Divya Sharira is for those who go to higher planets. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna speaks about all those things in the 8th and 9th chapter. So there are, let's see how many planets are there. Earthly planet where we are all there. And there are hellish planets called Naraka. And there are heavenly planets called Swarga. Above this hell and heaven, there are higher planets called Tapoloka, Maharloka, Janaloka. Which are these planets? These are the planets for uh, you to make further spiritual advancement. And those planets are uh, the atmosphere and the facilities in those planets are such that you can make more spiritual advancement. You are not yet eligible for uh, going to Vaikuntha or Goloka Vrindavana. You have to still complete your sadhana. So if you wish, you can go to higher planets and make remaining sadhana complete there. So Janar Loka, Tapo Loka, Siddha Loka, Mahar Loka, like this kind of Lokas. But they are like higher planets. But uh, if you are not eligible for that, then either you have to go to Swarga Loka for enjoying material facilities or you have to go to Naraka to go through, you know, hellish punishment. So this is the, this is what going to happen. So Yatana Sharira is for those who are going to hell or heaven. Divya Sharira is for those who are going to uh, higher planets like Mahar Loka, Jana Loka and all. And those who are devotees of Lord Krishna who are completely, uh, you know, become eligible for going back to Godhead, they go in their spiritual body. They don't have to accept Yatana Sharira, Divya Sharira. They have their own spiritual body. In that spiritual body, they'll go to Vaikuntha. So these are the three things. Now, what happens? It's very interesting that as soon as the soul, the person dies, the soul has come out and the soul has come out and soul has entered into Yatana Sharira. Now you are in Yatana Sharira. When you are in Yatana Sharira, it is such a body, it is designed for you to experience various sufferings and punishment. People ask this question. They say, oh, we don't believe all these things because once I am dead, people have burned the body, then where will I get punishment? All that we hear, you will be beaten and uh, you will be put into, you know, hot boiling oil. How is it possible my body is already gone? Yes, this body has gone. In fact, this body is not capable for too much suffering, too much enjoyment. Both it cannot handle. When somebody hears a very happy news, sometimes they'll fall unconscious. Behush padgai. We can't handle even so much of happiness also. Or you hear a very greatly sad news. That time also you'll fall on. Somebody is beating you or hit your head, bang your head against the wall. You'll feel unconscious because your body cannot handle pain beyond a point or even happiness beyond a point. So this body is not suitable for all that. So for that you need to accept a different body. That is why as soon as you die, means you leave this body, you accept another body that is called Yatana Sharira. Now you are in the Yatana Sharira and you are seeing what is happening to your that dead body, the another body, right? And uh, so the soul is watching and what is happening? And this Yatana Sharira uh, is such a sharira where you can see, you can talk, you can listen, everything is possible. But what that you, the soul in the yatana sharira speaks that we cannot hear. Because that body is different, our body is different. For example, what I am speaking in my mind, nobody can hear. 
can you hear right now what i'm speaking in my mind see just now right now in front of you i am speaking but you cannot hear i can speak in such a way that you cannot hear because i have another type of body i have two bodies one body when i speak you can hear another body when i speak you cannot hear all of us right now we have those two bodies another example is when you sleep and in your sleep you are talking and what you are talking in your sleep body i cannot hear like for example you are asleep and you are speaking to somebody in your uh, sleep you are talking but that can i hear can i can I, do i have access to what you speak when you sleep no i cannot hear because that's an another body we have so many bodies like that so likewise when we die we get an another body called yatana sharira in that body the soul speaks but when that soul speaks that people who are in this gross body cannot hear it but the soul in the yatana sharira can hear what you are speaking the soul in the yatana sharira not only can speak what you are speaking the soul in the yatana sharira can also listen what you are speaking in your mind what you are talking in your mind that is the ability of the yatana sharira do you all understand people are sitting and crying in front of the dead body oh why you went away you left me the soul can hear that in the yatana sharira that that body is capable of hearing what you speak and some pers- some person is sitting and thinking this fellow died so good this fellow you know it died i'm so happy the ya- the soul in the yatana sharira can hear that also because the purpose of that body is like that you have to get yatana that's why you will get access to listen to all such things you are meant to suffer so that you will listen what all people are thinking what all the people are feeling thinking about you both the ways externally and internally so the soul is seeing oh you see another thing is soul has nothing to do with any body the only reason is you are feeling all those things because you have got false connection with this body called ahankar identity false identity so because of that the soul is watching oh, what what are they doing it is very important that's why what happens in the next 10 days after the death that's called shraddha ceremony that is called shraddha ceremony that is going to help the soul for the next travel that's very very important shraddha ceremony now the what shastras recommend is after death within 3 hour 15 minutes you have to cremate the body either you have to burn i mean highly recommended is you have to burn only in the case of sanyasis and the spiritual master it is said their body has become spiritualized so you can bury the body but rest everyone should be burnt so the in 3 hour 15 minutes that dahan sanskar has to happen so that that helps the soul for the next further journey so uh, if that doesn't happen then that much you are prolonging the souls from the further journey it is getting prolonged by this one now everything that you do after the the person dies means uh, the darba that we put the darba grass and which Uh, on top of which the dead body is made to lie down and in the southern direction the dead body is made to lie and then how they uh, carry the dead body how they bathe the dead body how they put the chandan gopi chandan on the dead body and in what way they carry the dead body and uh, in what way they prepare the chita everything is impacting the soul after the death for the further journey it's it's a proper science what happens to the soul and what you are doing with the dead body because still the identity is there with the dead body so the soul is having and now the moment you die the moment you die something very special happens when you enter the yatana sharira that in the yatana sharira all your memory gets activated you see we need to understand how memory is not completely under our control we have partial control we have 
partial control. We do not have full control. We do not have absolute control over memory. Like sometimes you are able to remember, sometimes you are not able to remember because you are not the full controller of your memory. Like sometimes I'm able to lift my hand, but if my body gets paralyzed, I may desire to lift my hand, but I will not be able to lift my hand because I don't have full control over my body. So nature has control. I also have control. Multiple people have control over this body. Like that, even our memory is not fully under our control. As soon as you die, as soon as you enter into that uh, yatana sharira, that's the new body, your memory gets completely activated. Every single instance that you have done when you were alive, you are able to remember now. Every single opportunity that you have missed to do devotional service, now you are able to remember that. And next to you, the Yamadutas are standing and all the memory is fully now clear in your mind. You are remembering. You see, for example, you have done a crime and the police has come to arrest you. You are remembering now whatever you have done. You are remembering. You know why they have come, what I have done. So the memory gets activated. You will also remember every sinful activity you have done. <coughs> and you remember. And you lament. You cry. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? I should have not done. I should have not done. See, we lament only when the consequences are visible to us. Till then, people don't lament. Because at that time, what covers you is karma. We have already discussed karma is thai is thai jnana. Our memory is connected to lust. Memory is connected to prema or karma. So because of karma, your memory gets covered. So when you are doing sinful activity, you don't remember anything. Like when you are eating, when you are overeating, because of the lust for overeating, you don't realize last time how you suffered with stomach pain. You forget all that and you eat. And why do you forget? Because of karma. So now that you have actually come out of your body, now the death has happened. Now that you are remembering, now full memory is activated. And in that memory, you are remembering every single sinful activity, the papa karma that you have done, you are remembering. And you are also remembering the opportunities you had. The opportunities you had to do bhakti. You had to do good things and I didn't do it. And this increases your suffering even more. And you are crying, crying, crying. But nobody is able to listen to your crying. Because in your yatana sharira, what you speak, what you do, nobody can see, nobody can listen. And then the, the soul in the yatana sharira is beseeching and begging and pleading. That please, please, all of you chant the holy names of the Lord. That will benefit me, that will benefit me. But unfortunately, nobody can hear that sound of the soul. Because when, when the person dies, the only thing that can help the soul is how much uh, Sankirtana or Namasmaranam, Vishnu Namasmarana is going on around the dead body. More they die, more the suffering for the soul. Sorry, more they cry, more the suffering for the soul. More and more they cry. Oh, like this. And the soul is begging, please don't waste time. Don't cry. All of you chant holy names. Chant, that is going to help me now. But unfortunately, if, if your relatives are not devotees, if you don't have people around you who are devotees, see the, the soul, what the soul is speaking in Yatana Sharira, you know, they can't hear. That's why the uneducated people, spiritually uneducated people, unqualified people sitting around you by crying, they increase the suffering of the soul. But if you have devotees around you, when, when, when that person dies, they actually facilitate the soul's journey in a very nice way. 
they will chant mantras they will read bhagavad gita they will do kirtan they will do all those things and that helps the soul the soul is getting benefit the soul feels comfortable the soul feels happy because it is getting benefited so the soul is crying please chant chant but no one is chanting they are all crying and not only that some people are doing drama of crying and you are able to listen to that and all that the soul is crying <laughs> and then as soon as the dahan sanskar happens the so the so the body is cremated then the yamaduta says now come let's go so now is the journey starts to yamalok yamalok is is like a court you know we have a court where you are taken and where uh, what you have done what you have not done the judges will see so yama has the that uh, you know the judge responsibility for every soul so now the journey itself is described in a very very scary way how it all you know depend on what karmas we have done so now the soul is being dragged the soul is crying in the yatana sharira i will not come i will not come and the yamadutas are dragging come you have to come and they are beating it is described the yamadutas hands uh, you know filled with sharp nails and thorns and they will slap you with the thorny hand and you know and so that you get more pain the body is meant to tolerate that pain and you'll be dragged and it is also um, described how your journey is tam yamyastu gale badhva yamya yamya means the servants of yama yamyastu gale badhva they will put that noose around your neck the pasha yama pasha gale badhva papinam bhakti varjanam we have no bhakti such papis will be arrested by yamadutas by putting the noose around their neck karshanti nirjane marge the marga the road they will be dragged vahnivat tapta thalake tapta it will be so hot burning scorching heart filled with fire everywhere and they'll be dragging you in that road and and that soul will be crying in the yatana sharira oh i'm suffering i'm suffering suffering like that and this is that journey 3 hour 15 minutes or 24 hours or 10 days or one year if you are a devotee if you are a good person um, you're not at eligible for going back to spiritual world you are still a sadhaka yamadutas very respectfully take you not in this way not in this way they very respectfully just accompany you to yamaloka where that uh, yamaraj also will receive you in a very respect respectable manner and uh, they will in 3 hour 15 minutes everything will get over and you will now enter into the next devotee parents uh, family so now you are now ready for next sadhana journey if you are not your punishment begins from the journey itself you know you have seen sometimes how the road itself they'll be beating the person <laughs> the road that journey itself you'll be beaten and dragged and pulled and pushed and all those things and now uh the, the soul is crying the soul is crying please and and soul is remembering i didn't do any bhakti and the soul sees there are on the way there are some people sitting under the tree in that scorching hot and soul is feeling under the tree and yamadutas are giving water to that soul and soul says hey they are getting water they are sitting and they are resting in between please allow me then yamadutas will slap and tell you rascal you have never planted any tree in your life you only cut the trees you have not done any punya of taking rest in between and that soul which is sitting under a tree is because during his lifetime he has planted tree and water the tree okay planted tree and water the tree the soul accumulated that punya that doesn't mean simply when you die you will get that facility if you want to encash that punya on your journey your family member should be doing shraddha for you at that time if they are not doing shraddha at that time during your journey you cannot encash all those things 
that is why those 10 days or during whatever the shraddha you do it is helping the soul in their journey on the way and simply what is that okay in uh, naam ka vaste some name sake shraddha it is very nicely mentioned what is that it is said that प्रायः कलावन्यज्जत्वा दत्तं पुत्रादि बंधुभि न लभ्यते विष्णु भक्ते हीनत्वा धात्रुभुंजतो योर सन और डॉटर हुएवर इज डूइंग श्राद्धा शुड बी विष्णु भक्त शुड हैव डिवोशन एंड द पर्सन द प्रीस्ट हु इज हेल्पिंग दैट सन और डॉटर टू डू श्राद्धा शुड आल्सो बी विष्णु भक्त and the people who are participating in that should also be vishnu bhakta and the ingredients used in the entire process should all be accumulated in a clean process in this way here it is very nicely mentioned na labhyate vishnu bhakta if you are not vishnu bhakta if the person who is doing shraddha is not vishnu bhakta the priest who is not vishnu bhakta na labhyate you will not be able to encash any of your punya on your journey to yamalok see how important it is shraddha cannot happen name sake simply by paying some money you know oh somehow you know telling the priest finish no fast you finish i have urgent business meeting i have to go or what is all these things i don't believe in all these things simply i am a hindu so i have to do no the soul is crying all the during the journey oh what what you oh, i only spoiled my children i sent them to some convent i sent them to some malls during the holidays i took them to some uh, you know holiday trip i never taught them all these things now i am not getting any benefit so soul is crying lamenting is crying i spoiled my children now they are not doing anything which is helping me na labhyate vishnu bhaktaha i didn't give them any vishnu bhakti i should have made them sit and chant the hari krishna mantra i should have made them read bhagavad gita bhagavatam i simply made them spoil now i am only the one who is going through all that consequences the soul is crying that uh, you know i am not getting rest on the way i am not getting water you will feel thirsty you will feel scorching heat but you can't do anything they will beat you and they will drag you and then then the soul will be dragged from very far away the soul that soul in the yatana sharira now that body will get extremely bad smell the soul asks now what is this smell the smell is coming from vaitarani river there is one river extremely horrible river called vaitarani river and the river is full of waves and filled with uh, urine blood and pus you know when there is a wound it form pus forms it's so bad and this one that pus and blood and urine and stool this is the ingredient of that river and it is it is so far away from kilometer far away so much bad stench is coming and it is unbearable the soul says oh no i cannot even go nearby the yamaduta say now you have to swim in that river and reach the other side and then the soul is trying to escape but the yamadutas have put that gale badhva drag you and then the soul sees there are some people sitting in the boat and aram se crossing the river the soul has see please please i cannot swim and it is too huge river i cannot please relieve me please allow me also to sit in the boat the yamaduta say those people who have done godan they have done go seva they will get the boat in the avaitarani river you are not done go seva you are not done any you are not done any go, what is this uh, uh, ch- you are not given any godan means you are not done any charity of the cows or you are not fed cows so you have to swim in this river you see in many people ask why so much go seva go seva in india it is because the cows will help you to cross the avaitarani river if you are done go seva godan you you will get boat you don't have to swim and suffer in the vaitarani river so in this way the soul will be dragged uh, in the yatana sharira and taken to yamaloka and in the yamaloka 
the ch- the the chitra gupta the people who have kept the track of all your activities they will re- start reading out in front of yama and then the this uh, soul's uh, old nature will come out what is that telling lies and telling i have not done this you know many people nowadays they think if i am very smart somehow argue keep one expert criminal lawyer he is able to dodge uh, manipulate and i can escape but this doesn't happen in yamalok and the soul will try to do but that doesn't happen there so the soul will start arguing no 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 i never did this every activity they'll read out because you have to say i have done it you have to first to be, they'll bring it to your notice no no i have never done it every time you tell lie amadutas will slap you with their thorny hands and then that the, when that pain comes then the soul agrees yes yes i only did it <laughs> so that uh, attitude of telling lies self defense you know many times we see devotees or people when somebody is trying to correct they immediately say no 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 i have not done like this i have not done so this will continue even in the yamalok if you don't change this nature you have to be open to correction we have, we should be open to reformation when somebody is trying to show the truth what is the truth we should take it otherwise the, the same thing we will do in front of yamadutas and they will slap us and that pain will be unbearable and then uh, the soul tries to argue but they will give all the evidence and yamadutas will beat for telling the lies and then soul will accept then the punishment will be uh, pronounced what will be the punishment and then the punishment will happen if you have done whatever you have done so all that punishment is again in bhagavatam fifth canto garuda purana mahabharata is all very elaborately described what happens for this what happens for that so now after all that punishment then the soul will come back so this is where the time taken 3 hour 15 minutes 10 days a uh, sorry one day 10 days one year or more than that now people may ask okay after suffering in uh, hellish planets naraka why again i have to suffer in this earthly planet also sometimes we say no why people are suffering is because he has done papa in the previous life if i have already suffered in the hell why am i suffering again it is because for every papa you don't have to suffer in hell the hell is meant for suffering a certain high level sinful activities like for example you keep getting body pain back pain headache migraine this is a result of papa there are grades of papa but this you don't have to suffer in hell hell is a very very high level of punishment that we can't even imagine what level of punishment it is so in that hell what you need not suffer that sinful activities you will suffer on earthly planet second one is you suffer in the hell and there is a little sin is still remaining that is called shesha papa shesha papa means it is like 1.23 one you suffer in the hell remaining 0.23 you have to suffer on earthly planet so that is the second third one is your desire you have a desire to be like a pig so you will get a body like a pig so in that way you 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 know you do whatever you want to do on the earthly planet or whatever the desire is there fourth one is some level of dukkha or suffering is maintained in the earthly planet to awaken the soul about the original nature when you see suffering when you see dukkha that will make the soul do jignyasa inquiry why am i suffering so that is meant for our education purpose some level of dukkha is meant for education and awakening and reformation purpose so this is how the soul you know uh, goes through the entire thing now that is why as soon as the person dies what happens to that person number 1 you get into either yatana sharira or divya sharira divya sharira people don't go to yama loka at all they will directly go to janar loka mahar loka tapa loka all those things they don't enter into this vaitarani river and this journey and yama loka no that is a separate thing and the devotees who have become completely vishnu bhaktas 
that krishna tells so much in bhagavad gita that think of me at the time of death think of me at the time of death i will come and personally take you tesham aham samuddharta mrutyu samsara sagarat bhavami na chirat partha maya veshita chetasam you are chetasa your consciousness is completely absorbed in me for such people i will come and take them personally to vaikuntha so they also don't go to yama loka so they will go to vaikuntha goloka vrindavan and uh, other people who have done very high level of sadhana they will go to higher planets like where lord brahma stays lord brahma is in brahma loka he is doing so much of sadhana bhakti so you go be with brahma and you do sadhana that is also possible but if you are not belonging to any of this category then you have to go to yama loka and when you go to yama loka 3 hour 15 minutes 24 hours 10 days or 1 year and more than that so this is how it is so this is what happens now krishna is saying at the time of death what you do next life is decided but before your next life on earth this is what happens in between and after you come earth again you know in next further bhagavad gita talks it depends on what body you have taken that what body you take depends on what karma you have done and what desire you have developed and then again it will go on punarapi jananam punarapi maranam so this is all the thing so what krishna is saying in bhagavad gita just think of me do some bhakti human life is meant for that especially when when uh, when a person dies in the yatana sharira when the entire memory button is switched on again that soul is suffering it is remembering how so many devotees came to me and asked me take bhagavad gita i didn't take bhagavad gita they asked me please come for bhagavad gita class i said no i have to watch some uh, you know world cup fifa world cup match or uh, they told me no no please come let's chant let's go to vrindavan i said no i have to go for goa trip no didn't come every memory will come back to us and the soul is crying because it knows now what is going to happen next but you can't do anything it's too late at that time it's too late at that time so when we are alive now the shastra is giving all that see this is what going to happen you are not a dead you are still alive so you still have an opportunity you want to rectify you can rectify don't waste your time prepare yourself and how to prepare what to do on day to day life should i be so busy like day before yesterday i went to mumbai and 3 uh, hours we were in the traffic jam so then i was telling one devotee that what a demonic civilization it is that 3 hours going 3 hours coming in traffic 6 hours of my day is gone in the traffic the human life is not meant to be uh, wasting time in the traffic like this what what have we done in the human civilization and people are very busy oh i am achieving something see all that you achieve is all left here only what comes with you is only your punya or bhakti either punya see punya if you are done if you want to encash it then uh, after your death how will, what level of shraddha they will do that depends otherwise you won't get any use of that punya when you after you die till you reach yama loka but if you are done bhakti then it's it's in another level it's another thing so we should not waste our time that is why krishna next you see in the next verse what says in bhagavad gita tasmat therefore tasmat sarveshu kaleshu all the time tasmat sarveshu kaleshu ma manusmara always think of me tasmat sarveshu kaleshu ma manusmara yudhya cha live your life in such a way that you are always remembering me mai arpita mano buddhihi in this way your mind and intelligence is engaged ma me vaishyasi you will come to me krishna is not saying you will go to yama krishna is not saying you will go to higher planets krishna is saying ma me vaishyasi you will come to me asamshaya without any doubt you will come to me so krishna is saying this and in the in the ninth chapter we will see here krishna is saying in the next chapter what is he saying 
त्रैविद्यमाम सोमपाह पूतपाप यज्ञैरिष्ट्व स्वर्गतिम प्रार्थयन्ते ते पुण्याम आसाद्य सुरेंद्र लोकाम अश्नांति दिव्याम दिविदेव भोगान इन द नाइन्थ चैप्टर इज सेम सुरेंद्र लोकान यू विल गो टू हेवेनली प्लैनेट्स वेर इंद्र लिव्स एंड देर यू आर एंजॉइंग एंड आफ्टर एंजॉइंग व्हाट हैपेंस क्षीणे पुण्ये मर्त्य लोकाम विमशति वंस योर पुण्य गेट्स ओवर यू विल कम बैक लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल यू हैव गॉन टू वन रिसॉर्ट आर वन फाइव स्टार होटल एंड देर यू आर स्विमिंग एंड वन सर्वेंट इज कमिंग एंड गिविंग यू वन ग्लास ऑफ जूस एंड समबडी इज कमिंग एंड क्लीनिंग योर रूम ऑल दैट दे आर डूइंग एंड वंस द मनी दैट यू आर डिपॉजिटेड इज ओवर नाउ दे से गेट आउट टाइम इज ओवर यू हैव टू कम आउट ऑफ दैट रूम फाइव स्टार होटल रूम like that once your punya is over like once your currency is over in star hotel they'll say sir now you can please vacate like that once punya is over krishna is saying kshine punye kshine punya means punya is exhausted martya lokam vimshati vimshati means come back you'll come back to this martya loka he here krishna is not saying you'll come back to me in bhagavad gita krishna says if you come back to me you will never come back If you come to Vaikuntha, if you go to Goloka Vrindavana, you will not return. It is not depending on your punya. It is out of love Krishna has taken, and you will stay there forever. Tasmat sarveshu kaleshu mamanu smara yudhyacha mai arpita mano budhir mame vaishyasi asam shaya ha asam shaya ha mame vaishyasi. Without any doubt, you will come to me, and you will never return. Yad gatva. Naniwartante. Once you come to me, you will never come back to this place. But you, anywhere you go, anywhere else, you will have to keep coming back to this world. So, this is a science and this is a truth. This is a fact. Foolishly, immaturely, just because I cannot see, so I will say that after death nothing is there. Who has seen what happens after death? No, who has seen? Everybody, I mean, most of the people have seen, and whoever has seen, they have documented in the scripture. So, for you to see, nobody has told you that is your unfortune. That is, uh, nobody has told me that is your unfortune. That is your uh, your ill illiterate and uneducated spiritually. So, we have to become serious. What is death? what happens after death what kind of body we get after death how much time it takes to take next life what all sufferings we today we are not discussed what all sufferings we get in hellish planets so all that if you don't want every day every moment right now we have an opportunity see nobody is going to tell you that oh why you didn't become prime minister it's it's okay whoever you may be whatever you achieve your education that is why here it is so nicely said another verse it is said balye matradi bhir dharman nakaroti nivaritah when you are so small and child your mother never allowed you to do any dharma oh child is too small why it is required all these things now only don't do any upavas don't do all these things go play around out of mother affection and mother love and care balye in childhood we have not done any dharma yavane chati saktasan when i'm young i had no interest because my body was so capable of doing sense gratification i said hey i will do in the old age vardhakke ashakta eva cha vardhakya means old age ashakta even though you are interested you are not able to do it you are not able to travel you are not able to go for yatras you cannot get up early in the morning you cannot do so many things so in this way you are not done anything so soul is able to remember all these things in the yatana sharira and crying so that is why when when death happens it is very important that people around the dead body they sit and do kirtan reading bhagavad gita and do nama sankirtana they are not supposed to cry more they cry more it is uncomfortable for the soul they are wasting the time if they at least chant it helps the soul and after the death proper shraddha has to happen with vishnu bhakti prabhupad mentions this in shrimad bhagavad gita chapter 1 purport 
that uh, Arjuna was concerned about this. Oh, if I fight, many will die and nobody will be there to do Pinda, Pindadana and Shraddha and all this thing because it, it reaches the soul. So that is very important. So the, that is why it is very important that whatever wealth we have, what time we have, the people we have should be engaged fully in the service of Lord Sri Krishna. See how Yamadutas are saying, you are not done any godan, you are not given any cows in charity, you are not done any go seva, you are not done any seva to the cows, so you will not get any help right now. You suffer on your way to hell. So it is so important that we take you know, education and our life is prepared for that. Like, you know, when you are when you're a student, you are sitting and studying and some people are coming, hey, what is this? Come on, yeah, this is the time to enjoy. You know, good student will say, this is not the time to enjoy. After my exam, I will enjoy. Right now, I am preparing for my exam. So, a good responsible student knows this. Irresponsible people who don't even know that there is an exam, and what will happen after my exam, they'll say, right now, let me enjoy. But when the exam comes, they will fail. And once they fail, their future will be bleak, dark, because you have failed. What will you do? So likewise, Bhagavad Gita and Vedic literatures, they tell us this human life is a preparation for our exam called death. And after death is the actual life. Like after exam is the actual life. So, when Krishna says here, Yam yam vapis panan bhavam tyajitante kalevaram tam tam evaiti kaunte yasadatat bhava bhavitaha tasmat sarveshu kaleshu mamanusmara yudhyacha mayar pitamano buddhir mame vaishyasi asamshayaha. Therefore, always remember me. Therefore, become my devotee. Therefore, dedicate your life for me. Therefore, make your life in such a way that only you do everything about me so that you can come back to me. Otherwise, one has to go through all the same. It doesn't depend on whether I believe, don't believe. It is not dependent on whether I like it, don't like it. This is the truth that is going to happen. With this, we'll stop here. Grantara Srimad Bhagavad Gita Ki Jagat Guru Srila Prabhupada Ki Nitai Gaur Premanande